Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, in 2021, one of the best ways to be making money in GTA 5 online has to be done in free roam. Whether you guys are an MC, you own a nightclub, a hangar, or even if you want to do the Kyle Perico heist, you still have to do the prep missions in free roam. Now, of course, the problem with doing that stuff in a free roam public session is that you will get a ton of players often coming over to you in oppressors, jets, and just trying to destroy you and wipe away all of the hard work that you guys put in in order to build up your businesses. So in this video, I'm going to be showing all of you guys an epic method that will allow you guys to avoid this from happening so you can all get an empty public lobby 100% solo no other players will be in there to disturb you now I am aware that we all do play on different platforms PS4 Xbox one and PC so in this video I am really breaking down three different methods for each individual platform so hopefully you guys do appreciate me having you covered as always if you guys do support the channel and you do want to see me cover more epic guides in the future all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so coming in for the first method and i'm going to be covering by far the easiest method ever to get a solo public lobby and that is the first method for xbox and the reason why this method is so easy and so great is because we're not actually going to be using the game to do this we're going to be using the xbox so there's no way that rockstar games could ever patch this method and just to prove to you guys that this is still working as of today in March 2021, as you guys can see on screen, I have got the brand new card, the Brioso 300, which only recently came out with the Kyle Perico heist. So this method 100% is still working. I don't wanna see any dumb comments telling me that it's been patched because I do know for a 100% fact this is working as I do use it myself daily. So what you guys simply wanna do is be in a free run public session. As you guys can see on screen, I've got a few players in my game right now all you want to do from here is press the xbox button go down to settings go to network settings and all you guys simply want to do is test your nat type wait about two seconds and go back into your game and you guys should notice after a few seconds every single person will get lagged out of your game giving you guys a solo public lobby as easy as that like i said i will be covering other methods throughout this video but hands down by far this is the best method if you guys play on xbox that you want to be using straight away every single time now if for some crazy reason rockstar games or xbox end up patching this method in the coming weeks or months i've also got another method that does work on xbox one that i'll quickly go ahead and cover for you guys like i said just in case the first method does get patched then i'll go ahead and explain how to do the ps4 and pc method first thing you guys want to do is be in a public free run session you want to press start go across to online playlists you want to create a playlist and you want to add one race into the playlist and you want to add the shortest race possible the shortest race i always remember is called criminal records the one where you just drive around the prison once but if you guys can remember a shorter race by all means go ahead and add that to your playlist now once you guys have added one race into your playlist go ahead and save it so as you guys can see here i call mine z so now once you guys have created your playlist simply just go ahead and launch it and all you guys want to do is go ahead and play the race once you do want to put it on only one lap because you want to get this done as quick as possible and if you guys can take note or remember for the reference of the video just proving that this is legit as you guys can see this first attempt that i'm doing it i'm doing it in a blue etr1 i'm going to repeat this glitch again with a different card just to prove that this is working every single time however it shouldn't take you no longer than 30 seconds to complete one lap and complete this part i don't know how the hell that world record is 13 seconds that's got to be a glitch of some sort however once you've completed the race you should get greed of this little cutscene of your character celebrating now as soon as that's finished you want to leave a like on the job and you want to restart it now you should get greed of a 30 second countdown as you guys can see in the bottom right as i mentioned right at the start of the video i'm not going to cut a single thing from this video i'm only going to speed it up however once this reaches about two seconds in you should get greeted with another bit of rp that should roll down and then you should get another cutscene from here here, you want to pull up your interaction menu and you want to be hovering over your friend's name now as soon as you guys can see in the background the image of a sky where it's zoomed out all the street lights you want to invite your friend into that session now as you guys can also see before it restarts
starts the actual playlist it's going to glitch your character as you guys can see standing outside the race and if you guys can think back to the old method around six months ago from here all you had to do was back out and you would be in an empty public session however rockstar games have patched that method they haven't patched what i'm going to do right now so as you guys can see i've invited my friend already and i'm in a race however he's still joining the session and then bang it should show up on my friend's screen saying to him are you sure you want to join a new session he should just go ahead and press a or x on the playstation accept that and what he can do as soon as he's joined the race all he has to do is back out of the race and bang now my friend is in a solo empty session however if i back out as you guys will see in a second it's going to put me in a public free run session with a bunch of random players however my friend is in the empty public session so all he has to do is simply go ahead and invite me from here and we'll both be in an empty public lobby so as you guys can see from here i tell my friend to go ahead and invite me i actually have my notifications off if any of you guys are ever messaging me on xbox and wondering why i don't reply that's because i do turn my notifications off do you know how annoying that would be in a video seeing messages pop up every second sent you a message sent you a message however as you guys just saw on screen i accepted my friend's invite however it's not going to put me in a session straight away this is where rockstar games have tried to patch the old method as you guys can see right here as soon as i accept his invite it is going to kick me from the race however like i mentioned earlier it's going to put me into some random public session and not the session that my friend literally just created so as you guys saw in the bottom left there it just said that player left this session that's how i know that i'm in a random public session with a bunch of random players however as soon as i load into this session i'm going to get prompted with that message here you can see it are you sure you want to join a new game simply go ahead and accept that just give it a few seconds to load and you guys are now in a public free roam session and you're able to sell all of your vehicles all your crates all your product whatever you guys want to do with no stress whatsoever from some random jet warrior coming over to you trying to ruin your day however as you guys can see right here as soon as i press down on my d-pad public empty session with only my friend that i invited into it earlier so a very very easy method however getting straight into the ps4 only method and this is slightly similar to the xbox one method right at the start of the video however we've got to do something slightly different as the console itself different to an xbox so all you guys want to do is go to settings you want to select network from here select self internet connection now whatever you guys are using whether it be a wi-fi network or a LAN cable keep that exactly the same and then it should ask you how do you want to set up the internet connection you want to select custom now IP address you want to keep it exactly the same keep the host name the same DNS settings keep it the same so be selecting automatic however when you guys get to the MTU settings you want to select manual now once you guys select that you should know is the MTU is currently set at 1500 it's set at that so you guys can basically find lobbies more easily so all you guys want to do is change that to a much lower number this could be a random number I'd say anywhere between 600 to 700 should do fine so select a random number like 672 and then after that it should just tell you to test your internet connection then it should proceed to test your internet connection and once it's done that you should notice it will either spawn you guys into your own lobby by yourself or back into story mode if you do get spawned back into story mode then you put the mtu too low so try hiring it just a tiny bit and it should work perfect for you it's all about finding your unique mtu number for the internet connection that you have in your area that's why this ps4 method is definitely nowhere near as reliable as the xbox one method but i know for a fact that i have tons of friends that play on ps4 and they all use this method 100 percent of the time and it works fine for them okay so moving into the final solo public lobby method and this is going to be for pc only and i'll do this exactly like i did with the ps4 in bullet points just so it's very clear for you guys and you know exactly what you have to do so you just want to be in a free run public session as you do normally and once you're in the game all you want to do is alt tab out of your game and open your pc resource monitor now from here gta should be the top listed program as it does use a ton of processes and once you found it all you have to do is right click the gta program and suspend the program for roughly 10 to 15 seconds once you resume the program just simply go ahead and reopen gta 5 and you should notice upon reopening gta 5 everybody should be lagged out of your game as easy as that however that is going to do it for me guys how to get an empty public lobby on every single platform hopefully you guys can use this method to grind out some money as always if this method did help you guys out all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.